Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at uh, the solution of uh, tree equations. So we're going to be solving this equation that's in front of us which is 8 sine theta cos theta equals to negative 2 root 3. Firstly, we are asked to determine the general solution of the following equation. 8 sine theta cos theta equals to minus 2 root 3. First thing that we must look at is do we know our formulas for our tree equation? For example, let's uh, look at if sine of uh, theta is equal to a then we're going to be looking at our reference angle be theta equals to sine inverse of a plus k dot 360 or theta equals to 1 at minus sine inverse of a plus k dot 360 please forgive my handwriting now that's the formula that we're going to be using today so there's three formulas that we need to learn y plus k dot 360 because the period of y equals to sine x equals to 360 degrees and k dot 360 remember k is any integer value Okay, so that's the one we're going to be using today. <clears throat> so we need to manipulate sine theta cos theta. What do you recognize when you see sine theta cos theta? Well, you should be able to, the first thing that comes to your mind should be the following formula, which is 2 sine theta cos theta is actually equal to sine 2 theta. Okay, and that's double angles. So remember we're going backwards now. Okay, so we're converting the single angles to double angles. So how can we get this 2 sine theta cos theta? Well, we can say 4 times 2 sine theta cos theta equals to minus 2 root 3. 4 times sine 2 theta equals to minus 2 root 3. Therefore, sine 2 theta equals to minus 2 root 3 over 4. So now I've come to this point here. And that's a point that we need to be able to come to. And now it's actually quite simple. The difficult part is actually getting to this point. And in order to get to this point, we need to be able to know our theory. And this forms part of our theory. 2 sine theta cos theta equals to sine 2 theta and also our expansions for cos 2 theta, etc. So now we are going to be looking at our reference angle is equal to sine inverse of minus 2 root 3 over 4 equals 2. And let's just quickly put that in our calculator. And I've done that already, but let's do it again. So it will be shift sine negative 2 root 3 all over 4 and negative 60 degrees is my reference angles. okay so this whole part here is basically the reference angle as you can see reference angle there's a chair okay so it's 60 minus 60 degrees so let's follow the formula what the formula says so what right what do I have here 2 theta equals 2 minus 60 plus k dot 360 now let's solve for theta how are we going to solve for theta we're going to divide across by 2 so it'll be minus 30 degrees plus k dot 180 okay so that's the first one done formula for the second one 180 minus sine inverse of theta so we're going to say 2 theta equals to 180 minus what's my reference angle minus 60 degrees plus k dot 180 2 theta equals to 180 minus minus 60 is 240 plus k dot supposed to be 360 here Okay, so it's k dot 360 
Once again, we're going to divide by 2. So it will be theta equals to 1, 20 plus k dot 180. At the end of our solution, we write k element integer. Okay? So just a quick recap. Let us just correct this here. So there's k dot 360 there. Okay. Now, just running through the solution once more. Always recognize what needs to be done in order for us to solve our equation. And in this case, it was the double angle expansion for sine. We need to go backwards. Okay. Remember, we need to get to the part where we solve the equation. Sine theta equals to A. And learn your formulas for sine theta equals to A, cos theta equals to A, and tan theta equals to A.